Good morning, this is Bill from out of Europe and Naples and today I have this 2004 BMW 330CI Cabrio. Uh, although it's not your traditional standard Cabrio, this one has what uh, is known as the ZHP performance package. It's a bit of a rare and expensive package they put on these cars for just a few years. Uh, about four grand it cost if you wanted to order it. Uh, you can see it's finished in brilliant black outside, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it has a very special body kit, uh, they call it the M-Tech, I believe. Uh, gives you a very uh, unique uh, bumper treatment up front, big mesh grill at the bottom, uh, xenon headlamps with the halos. The fellow who owned this thing, he had those uh, kidney grills blacked out, which I think looks great. Uh, I think they came chrome standard, but gives it a nice look, uh, more sinister with them in black. Uh, those beautiful 18-inch wheels with dinner plate brakes behind them. Uh, the classic uh, E46 styling, which uh, many of you could be surprised to know that Chris Bangle had a lot to do with this car. He was chief designer at the time, and uh, you know, of course, went on to do that flame surfacing stuff that everybody hated. But uh, no true BMW guy hates the E46. It's one of the best looking 3 Series ever. Uh, nice little stubby rubber antenna in the back. Good looking soft top. Uh, glass rear window with defrost. Lovely and straight all around. Nice LED tail lamps. Big twice pipes at the bottom. Uh, special uh, rear bumper treatment as well. You know, there is some debate about whether this is just a cosmetic package or a true special performance BMW, and I don't think that's, uh, that's really as debatable as people say. This thing doesn't just have the cosmetic upgrades and uh, enhancements. It also has some very in-depth mechanical enhancements that make it a much more sporty car than its uh, non-ZHP counterparts. Uh, not just the big wheels, big brakes. They added a special special cross brace in the front to keep it uh, stiffer. Uh, of course, the E46 itself used a lot more aluminum than its predecessor to keep the weight down. Uh, but the ZHP just added some more stuff uh, under the hood and the engine tuning. We'll get all into that in a second. <clears throat> all right, let's start inside the trunk. Okay, to do that, we just pull that little pinch guy underneath, and you can see it has a pretty nice big trunk for a four-seat convertible. Uh, BMW does all this little compartmentalized stuff. Uh, this covers the battery. There's a spare tire under this panel, a little place to put stuff here, another little place to put stuff there. There's the DVD drive for the navigation. Uh, you got a tool kit here. I haven't looked in there, but the guy who owned this was kind of older and pretty anal retentive, so yeah. What I expected. It looks pretty nice in there. He ended up trading it for an 11 uh, or 12, was it 12, 13, 335 anyway. His wife wanted more modern features. All right, let's have a look under the hood. And that's going to be kind of what's special about these cars and uh, beyond the normal 330. So here is what looks like a traditional M54 inline six, which is one of the best uh, inline six engines that BMW ever made. Uh, there it is, black sapphire. What a good looking color on this thing. Anyway, uh, what BMW did with this one is they put hot cams in it. They put uh, uh, sort of enhanced engine tuning on it to bump up the horsepower and the red line. And so it uh, does rev a little bit higher and freer uh, than your standard M54 and the standard uh, E46, which is all very neat stuff. And again, when they've done that, when they've actually put hot cams and engine tuning on a car, I don't know how anyone could argue that this is a cosmetic package. Uh, again, you can see those beautiful headlight assemblies with the xenons, the halos, gorgeous. Uh, you know, God, they just knocked it out of the park with the E46. They really did. Okay, I'm going to get the top down and give you a little tour of the inside. So to do that, oh, that's great. And I've got my phone playing Billy Joel. Sometimes it just goes into these, uh, if I'm listening to satellite, it just goes in, starts playing in my pocket, which is great. Also, with this new iPhone 10 thing that I've got, every time I try to close the screen, I end up taking a picture of the home screen. I never knew I'd get to the point where I was too old for technology, but it does appear that uh, that has now happened. So, Okay, so to run the top, I just press this guy down here. 
see the windows. Yeah, they don't go all the way down, they crack a little bit. Let me turn around. Okay, it goes up in the back, up comes the top cover. That uh, very attractive uh, folding cloth soft top goes down. Nice mechanism, very well insulated. Down comes the top cover. The little red light's going to go off on the, there it is, and you're good to go. Then that switch will run all four windows down. So let's have a look at the car now in its topless form. And that is much better. That's, uh, in fact, what this car's all about, is getting the top down uh, and then doing some sporty driving to boot. Uh, you can see it just looks fantastic that way. Uh, you've got uh, room for four, uh, well, I don't know. I guess you could fit some adults back there, definitely the Canadians, but I don't know if you're American. Rear seat passengers are going to be thrilled. Uh, you can see, uh, again, the ZHP has this beautiful Alcantara stuff, which didn't come in the other cars. Uh, in these rear uh, headrests are rollover protection. In the event of disaster, uh, they'll pop up and give you, um, uh, give you rollover protection. Now, if I want to run the top back up, I can do that with the key. Just by, In fact, I'm going to do that because uh, I'm going to go for a drive and I don't want it to be too windy. So I'll show you how that works. I just have to find the key. Probably in it. I, every time I'm looking for a key, I've left it in it, and I have. Okay, so key in here. And let's press and hold it in the lock position. And there it is. So you can see now that top cover comes up. All in reverse, up comes this uh, rather well-designed folding cloth soft top. Comes back at the rear and down at the front. Seals itself nicely into place. And I'm gonna keep on the uh, key and up come all four windows. So, all very nice stuff. Now, of course, it's locked. One has to be able to pass an IQ test. Okay, inside, you can see, again, all the Alcantara with the cloth. You've got uh, the extendable thigh supports, very, very sporty seats, uh, full power, driver memory, all very nice stuff. Uh, you've got this uh, special trim inside, again, with the Alcantara and this black aluminum uh, carbon fiber looking stuff. You've got your Harman Kardon. Uh, you've got an Alcantara steering wheel. Very, very cool. Fire it up and see what we got. And you can hear that big M54 come to life. Nice. Uh, there you've got a very nicely laid out instrument cluster uh, with uh, what a orange needles or lighting or something. The other ones were white. Uh, this one was orange, part of the ZHP. Uh, the M Sport wheel with the Alcantara, lovely. A little bit busy with all the controls. You've got your cruise control here, your radio stuff here. Uh, I love the little grippies at uh, 10 and 2. Uh, you've got automatic headlamps, fog lamps. Uh, over here, we need to get a screen for this thing. It's all flickery and annoying as they go. It's an in-dash nav system and radio. The screens all come from China, though, so it takes weeks and weeks, and it's just annoying. I ordered a couple weeks ago, probably a couple weeks to go. Uh, once it's in, we'll stick it in. It'll be good to go. I hate changing to a, an aftermarket radio. I think these cars are much better with the, the way they came. Uh, also, for collectability, which truly is EHP package convertible will have. Uh, down here you've got uh, your automatic climate control, all very nice. Uh, heated seats, which I'm going to use. You've got your top controls, your dynamic stability control. That's the uh, BMW's traction control on this car. Now, obviously, I'd love to see a six-speed manual gearbox in here, uh, you know, for true sporty driving. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you have to make compromises. You know, we sell a lot of condo cars to uh, couples who bought a little place down here for the winter, and they buy one car for both of them. And I can tell you there are very few ladies who want to drive one of these cars with a stick in it. So, uh, you know, if you want a sporty car, sometimes you have to make a few compromises, and this is a car for those people. Uh, if you move this over to the left, you can tiptronically bang your way uh, through the gears, all very nice. Uh, of course, again, with that black carbon fiber look trim, the Alcantara on the shifter and the uh, e-brake, a little leather 
armrest. You've got your cup holders here, which you know are pretty good and simple for a BMW. Uh, you've got a nice set of books. Oh God, I can't reach in the glove box. Your factory rechargeable flashlight still there, all very lovely. I don't know why there appears to be an iPod cable. I don't know if the guy added a. Uh, if he added an auxiliary cable to this thing or not to make the radio hook to his phone. I'll check that out. He didn't say it if he did, and God knows he talked about this car ad nauseum. All right, so off we go. And I'll tell you, you can sort of feel that instant throttle response out of the car. Those extra few horsepower definitely are, you know, standing up and saluting on this thing. Ride is a little bit stiffer, which is nice. It's not too stiff, but it definitely feels sporty. Uh, obviously, incredible BMW steering response. We've got a Cayman here who doesn't know where he's going. Man, does that engine love revving. And there it is. I mean, what a fantastic cruiser. I love the on-center feel from the uh, the steering wheel. In this position, it's completely neutral. The minute you start going to the left or right, you get lovely feedback. You get terrific feedback from the brakes, good stopping power in this car. And uh, again, the extra 300 on the red line, uh, you just feel it all throughout. So uh, I really just don't think there's any debate. This is way more than just a cosmetic mod, these ZHP cars. Uh, uh, they, uh, you know, don't quite meet you halfway towards the M3 from the standard car, but they do get you towards it. Listen to that thing. Beautiful. Uh, anyway, here it is. Uh, 2004 BMW 330Ci ZHP Cabrio. Uh, turned just 93K on the clock. Not bad for an 04. Uh, man, the guy who owned it was super meticulous. Did every service. You know, kept it beautifully cosmetically. Kept it indoors. Uh, this is a real champion of a car. Uh, if you have an interest, give us a call. 239-298-8000 on the web at aenaples.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.